Developing right now at noon, multiple people shot after gunfire erupts at a party in Northwest Miami-Dade. One person was killed in the shooting. Local 10 News reporter Syra Anwar is live on the scene. And she tells us who owns that home where the shooting actually took place. Syra? So Christy and Janice, this happened late last night and there are still uh, police out here, crime scene investigation unit out here investigating uh, this just horrible shooting. We did learn more about the owner of this home and we're told that neighbors have been complaining about the parties and the people that attend these parties for a while now. The morning after the deadly shooting, crime scene units back at the Northwest Miami-Dade home after a party turned violent. It's a just keep praying, I have it every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then that's when a fight broke out. Police responding to the home on South River Drive. When officers got here, they found four victims. A man shot, a woman grazed by a bullet, and two minors shot in their legs. The man died at the hospital. The minors and the woman are expected to recover. Witnesses telling our crew on scene more about what went down at the party before the shots were fired. When people was leaving with the jet skis and leaving in their cars, the ones that party was staying behind a little bit was probably ones that was young, Stupid. Neighbors tell us off camera the home at 15020 South River Drive and the so called jet ski parties have long been a problem. Cell phone video shows the back of the home where the parties are said to take place. Neighbors saying loud parties, minors, and weapons are a common sight there. They say they've tried contacting police and code enforcement, but the parties keep happening. Public posts on social media for the home referred to as the boss mansion. The home turned party venue with nearly 11,000 followers on Instagram. Our crew asking the homeowner. Michael Simonette about the shooting. He defends the events at the home, saying there were lots of parties over the holiday weekend and it could have happened anywhere in his neighborhood. It's Easter. All these houses had a whole bunch of people at the house. Everybody. It could have happened in anybody's yard. And we are looking further into how many police calls have been made uh, to this uh, home here. Also the arrest record of Michael Simonette. Uh, witnesses say that this altercation all started over an, an argument having to do with a cell phone. We are hoping to get a lot more details confirmed on this, including the identities of the victims and who may have been that shooter. But that is the very latest live in Northwest Miami-Dade. Syra Onwar, Local 10 News.